Hi everyone, just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk a little bit about um, how to get started and working on your Fibonacci spiral. Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'm just gonna get started on it to show you um, how to begin. So uh, for those of you that might recall, the Fibonacci spiral, it, I'm sorry, the Fibonacci sequence, that's the one where you have one, one, and then these two added together are two, and then these two added together are three, and then these two added together are you know, five, and then eight, and so on and so forth, right? Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be constructing the Fibonacci spiral. That's You've seen it a million times. It's the one that, you know, kind of has that, you know, kind of looks like that, and so on and so forth. Um, so we're actually going to go through the process of constructing that. Um, and the first thing that you need to make sure you're doing is actually putting on, oops, putting on the grid. Um, so your goal is kind of to get it as big as possible. Um, don't feel limited. I'm just gonna put it in the middle to start off. You'll find that that is not how you get the biggest one. But um, what you're gonna do to start yourself off is you're going to make a square, okay? So you do need to be careful. Make sure you go in order or it gets mad at you. Oop, and then you're done. Okay, so um, then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle. Now, as you can tell when we were doing our Fibonacci um, sequence, the first two were one, one. All right, so what you're going to actually do is you're going to have another square of side length one. All right, Oop. let me start with another one here. All right, there you go, you have a square of side length one. So then what you're actually going to do is you're gonna draw an arc. Now, um, to draw this arc, you're gonna go from the top right corner over here, all right? And then on this one, you're gonna go from this corner where you just ended over to here. Now, uh, for the first two, you can just use a semicircle. Um, obviously, it's so far just is a semicircle. Uh, but as you kind of go on, you can't just kind of keep, you know, using a semicircle. So I just wanted to show you the actual explicit steps on how to do that. All right. So next, we know that in our Fibonacci um, sequence, it was one, one, two. So now I need a square of side length two. All right. So again, we're making our spiral. So we want to make sure that we're going kind of around, around, and now we have to go to side length two, and there we go. Okay. So I actually just want to choose this and make this a different color. I'm going to make this one green. And actually, because this is technically the next thing in the sequence, I'm going to make that orange. All right, so I had blue, orange, green. All right, so now again, I want to try and get this spiral to start going this way. So I am going to use this as the, where my circle is. And I'm going to go um, from this side down, right? So I want to make sure that my actual, um, my spiral is continuing, right? So I need to make sure I put it here and... Um, continue on so that way the the sequence is kind of continuing okay so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw my arc um, remember you need three points so really this is the arc that you care about right the arc that's going from here and then over okay so as you can see we now have our next step in our arc um so we just did one one Side length two, now I need side length three. This is gonna be the last one I do. So I need side length three. All right, and ooh, don't forget to, you know, remember to actually um, click. All right, I'm gonna make this one uh, purple, why not? I'm just making them different colors. So again, I wanna make sure that my actual arc over here is continuing on. So I have to start kind of at the one over on the opposite side of it so it can continue on. Um, no. 
Again, be careful. Make sure you do not delete it. Watch what happens if I delete it. It deletes the arc. And now I can't just hope for the best with the arc. All right. So you can't delete it. Hide it. And also be careful. Make sure you actually land on the points. That's the other place you can kind of make some quick little mistakes. All right. So I'm going to hide this. So now I have my next step. Now, your goal, obviously, is to try and make this as big as possible. Um, you'll see that I am going to quickly run out of space because I cannot change the size of the grid lines. Um, so what you can do, though, you can't really kind of turn it. It's kind of hard to turn. However, you can move if you just select everything. Whee! Okay, so you can move it. Um, it's very hard to actually turn everything, so you kind of have to deal with what you, the orientation you start with. Um, but if I wanted to move it over here, uh, so that's pretty good. The only thing we have to be careful as, of, as you probably are noticing, it's close, but it's not quite exact, right? So I'm just going to make sure it's exact now. And you have to move all the sinking points over there. So do your best to try and plan this out carefully. Um, so you don't, whoop. You don't have to try and move everything all the time, right? So now I got everything back in order. Um, there we go. That should be good. There you have it. Okay. So now that everything's back in kind of order, um, I can continue on if I so desire. That being said, uh, I'm not going to do everything for you because this is a graded activity, um, but. This should at least be enough to get you continuing on and try and get as many as you can. All right. Have a lovely day.